Hey you guys, it is me, Laura, from scrapsofencouragement.com, and today I am here with you, with you for another Simple Stamping Monday, and today I am using the Animal Outing stamp set that I put right here. <laughs> I just had it. So this is what we are using today. You've probably seen me use this before. I love this a lot. Um, this month I'm providing you ideas and encouragement because we are doing a card drive for Cards for Hospitalized Kids and I'm so excited. I just found out that we have met our goal f as far as pledges, um, cards that people have pledged to make and I can't wait to see even more of those come in. I have some to share with you a little bit later that have come in. Um, but the month is not over so we can far exceed that goal and that makes me so excited. So if you are interested in helping us to make cards for kids who are in the hospital, please feel free to check out my website, scrapsofencouragement.com. If you look at the blog, um, it will give you more information and that is going through the month of April. But today we are gonna do this fun card. I love this set for kids. I love these fun animals. I just, I mean, I would like this set for, I would like a card for me from this because I like those kinds of things. But um, I'm gonna show you how to make this simple stamping card and then I'm gonna show you a couple other things that are a little bit more advanced that I have made from this card this um, stamp set and some of the coordinating paper as well but let's go ahead and get started this is a quick and easy card it's easy to make for a lot of people or if you're in a hurry or if you're just a beginner to stamping because all you need is um, a note card and envelope which these come in a pack and these are three and a half by five inch note cards so you're just going to score it and fold it. I used a bone folder to, to fold the side, but you don't have to. You can just use your finger and crease it really good. And today I am using three ink colors. I'm using Call Me Clover, Soft Suede, and Crushed Curry. And then I have, if you just have one D-sized block, that will fit all of these today. I'm using a few different blocks, but that's all you need to make this really, really fun card. So I am going to go ahead and start with my Call Me Clover. So I'm going to open that up and I'm just going to lightly ink up this stamp. Don't need to press it in there hard. And I am going to stamp my first one with the little froggy right there center as can be. Now I don't want more frogs on this. So what I'm going to do is I am going to turn my stamp. So I'm going to stamp and then I'm gonna turn my leaves and stamp again. And there's a lot of ways that you can kind of turn this stamp around and stamp in different ways. Just make sure that the frog isn't there. You can even um, turn it to like this. I can turn it off to the side, pie like that. You just wanna get a lot of leaves coming in to kind of fill up the space. If I have some blank spot like that, I can put that in there. So I think I'm gonna run it all the way to the bottom. So I'm gonna add just a few more here. There we go. So there are my leaves, my trees are stamped all around. I think actually I like just a little bit more right in here. So I'm just gonna use the very edge. Stamp. There we go. So we've got lots of leaves and you can just fill that in as much or as little as you think looks good. And we're done with our Call Me Clover. So next, I am going to grab my crushed curry and I'm using the giraffe stamp and I'm gonna put two of them on here. So I'm just gonna take my giraffe and ink it up really well. So I'm gonna start with one down here pretty low that's gonna go off the side of the page and see how I'm kind of turning it so that it's a little bit straight. That is what you want. And then the next one I'm going to ink up and I'm going to put this one up high on the page. So there we go. I have my two little drafts and then we just have one more thing and this card is all done and it would be so cute to give to a child. You could give it to a friend. You could give it to a spouse or a significant other. It's such a fun card and you could do so much with it. Okay, so now I'm just taking the sentiment wild about you I'm sticking it right there and there is my card but one thing that you can do that is really fun too is that you can decorate the envelope 
That way, when your recipient opens the mailbox, they have a little surprise right there. So I'm gonna grab my Crush Curry ink again, and I am going to pop one little giraffe right here. That will go where the address, right in front of the address. And then I'm going to turn my envelope over and I'm gonna grab my Call Me Clover one more time. I am going to add, oh dear, I'm getting this ink all over papers. Gotta be careful. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to grab that and I am going to put leaves all over. Let me scoot this over so you can see it all over the flap of this envelope. The same way that we did before, just flipping it around, kind of making it fun. and. I'm going to come here over at this side. I'm going to pull one in with my little frog friend. There we go. There is our fun envelope to match our card and that was really easy. Thank you so much for stamping with me today and you can find all the materials that I used in today's video at my online store at scrapsofencouragement.com. I hope that you find joy in creating as you spread kindness and encouragement with your scraps of paper. I'll talk to you later. Bye.